No pulse. Probably my favorite song off the record. It's just using uh, classic new wave cliches, Devo, Suburban Lawns, uh, that kind of thing. So the trick is here that everything in the tune is bass, uh, is bust out to a tape stop effect. If we can put it onto one, maybe the bass line. So the original idea was to, uh, I thought about using a tape stop effect as a kind of rhythmic device. And so that's being used throughout uh, the whole tune as this kind of punctuation. Um, over the top of the tape stop, there is an analog X, say it, um, sample. So as the tape stop happens, the speech synth goes over the top. Um, and that's, that brings up a nice interaction between the main vocal and the synthesized vocal. We're looking up here. And all these classic new wave kind of cliches with this uh, tape stop effect, these kind of strong quarter notes, and then these random arpeggiators. And very uh, early pre-Warner uh, Brothers Devo, um, hardcore Devo, Mechanical Man, uh, Auto Mow Down, uh, all these... Uh, analog cyberpunk um, compilations that are available on archive.org uh, this kind of radioactive um, calculator uh, late 70s kind of uh, camp mechanical hypnotic baby I ain't got no baby I'm somebody Maybe I ain't got no pulse, maybe I'm somebody else. Now, there was an article when I was working on the, um, the record about Dick Cheney having an assistive heart device, and he technically has no pulse. Uh, so uh, the idea of having like a robotic heart, and, you know, out of all people who shouldn't have a heart, perhaps that's uh, Dick Cheney. Baby, I ain't got no pulse, baby, I'm somebody else. It's the future you don't care, go put on your plastic hair. It's like uh, that um, Devo, New Traditionalist era, uh, through being cool video where they're wearing the plastic hairdos. Um, there was also the kids, kids TV show What Now? There was like these little sketches where they had these plastic hair hats. This kind of uh, 50s camp, camp science, sort of B-52s, uh, Barbie doll, uh, Ken doll sort of... Um, plastic hair thing that seems to be a bit, a bit of a trope in the sort of the ni 90s, 80s, 80s new wave. Even uh, we can do it in 3D, the idea of these 3D glasses, uh, there's a lot of uh, touchstones for these sort of new wave uh, uh, aesthetic sort of uh, pieces. So yeah, 3D glasses, plastic hair, this kind of, um, even like liquid sky, those sorts of uh, new wave looks. And then my, my ex-partner Chris's vocals, which uh, they wrote with me on the, on one night, we just uh, wrote the whole their whole part and um, did the vocals and that was it and it was based off that original first line I had these I had these verses and then Chris just came in and wrote the lyrics this melody very pentatonic and it fits in this kind of pentatonic scale with a kind of static new wave sort of non diatonic not resolving no kind of root very sci-fi theremin. Yeah. 
So Chris's vocals are um, distorted and potentially auto-tuned. 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 The auto-tune's a little loose, so we get this intermodulation effect. And the, the idea behind that with my mixing of it was um, the group vocals in Peach Plum Pear by Joanna Newsom. It's like a lo-fi recording in Joanna Newsom's multi-tracked her voice um, in this really beautiful kind of cluster of uh, distant mic'd lo-fi. Uh, so it's kind of this idea that I would mix in a distorted vocal that's intermodulating and it would be the same bridge from the human voice to the synth. I love Chris's vocal track. So that dynamic between my vocal and Chris's vocal is like super like great because by the time this comes back in, uh, there's something really satisfying about the the difference between my word salad and Chris's. Well, I'm going abba dabba dabba da, abba dabba dabba da, and Chris is going wa na 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 na. This uh, green light yes and red means no, like uh, it's very uh, suburban lawns to me. Uh, janitor, flying saucer safari, this kind of uh, green light yes and red means no. Uh, this And even yeah, early Devo, this kind of mechanical punch card, bureaucratic, um, corporate. Then it's just a little drop with nothing happening on the lead line. Where you expect Chris's vocal to come back in is actually a measure later. So MS20 Siren, some more MS20. Here's the sound, the sound effects layers. They're all Korg MS20. Um, I've got to get off the tape stop, don't I? Can I trigger it? So a, a, a pitch envelope on the modulation, pretty simple. Wave sweep. The random classic MS20 ring mod oscillator setup. And then uh, the siren, it's a bit of portamento. Glide. Maybe not even glide. Yeah, it must be glide. Yeah, you can hear it. And a little bit of LFO on the top for the for the pitch modulation. And the, the bass line's got this really digitalized um, thing from this factory plugin from Nuendo 5 Prologue um, through UI Shock Maximizer. And maybe that's some ring mod as well. I don't know what, the, what that, that top end modulation is doing. Uh, I can't really tell. It's a wave mod will be that. But you can hear this kind of, it sounds like a sample rate reduction or ring mod or sample and hold type effect where it's... Uh, uh, striating the overtones. Guitars are synth one, like drop the bomb, played on fifths. Quite a convincing guitar. Um,
I thought it might have been ReFX Slayer, but it is actually Synth1 VST, which is going through Amp Simulator from Nuendo. Just the generic um, Amp Simulator with a lot of air on it and a lot of room tone. Two drum kits. Very Devo, very, very Devo with the cowbell. And then this kind of shaky hi-hat pattern coming up, I think. Yeah. It's very like a uh, new wave nerd party. And then underneath uh, uh, a, a quote unquote real drum kit. And this open hi-hat pattern is very uh, from Sparks, the, dr the drummer from Sparks from, uh, maybe it's Womp That Sucker, uh, whatever album Upstairs is on. Upstairs is this tune by Sparks that has this really great open hi-hat room sound. And it has this kind of same drive to it, this kind of You can hear everything sort of sizzling behind it with the compression. Um, you get the same sort of hi-hat sounds from Electric Light Orchestra, the kind of power pop. And when that tape stop happens, it's on a snare hit. So you've got a lot of, there's a lot of material for that tape, in, that pitch envelope. You think you're IG, and you think you got me so I'll, I'll mute Analog X voice. And it's that same thing about pulling the voice through the machine. This kind of um, idea that um, we're technolo technologizing, me giving a mediality to the voice making it sound like cassette as you can tell I'm really into the song I think it's a really effective little uh, new wave song it was something I always wanted to write this kind of um, very Devo but I, of course I wouldn't do a whole album of stuff like this because my patience for one genre and one sound never um, never that Great. And comparing and contrasting to Kids of Ninety Nine and Cat, these um other big sort of progressive symphonic stacked um sessions this one's very simple it's well two drum kits guitars bass line it's kind of a band setup plus sound effects plus vocal tracks um yeah not much else to say about no pulse uh but there it is uh again post-apocalypse the themes and themes in the video that i would put down for the next album because the apocalypse as a notion is implies a certain type of society a certain type of apocalypse for a certain type of people for some sections of society including you know first nations indigenous peoples workers etc the apocalypse has already happened so the idea i got very cynical about that idea of a post-apocalypse in terms of what what sort of world is that reifying um by a mission to say the world's ending well you know which world uh, something I feel very strongly about and it's something that I sort of uh, think about all the time uh, yeah so there's no pulse call that taxi on the floor baby can we just go